My 600 Pound Life is a show about testing absolute limits. Patients who go on the show are in need of changing their lives in order to literally save their lives. This show features the 12 month journey of the patients who weigh close to or even above 600 pounds. Many suffer from various health conditions that cause them to continue being bedridden and physical and mental pain. The patients are treated by bariatric surgeon Dr. Nawazardin who works with patients to start on an aggressive diet and workout plan to try and qualify for a weight loss surgery. From there, they must continue to work hard to keep the weight off, stick to a diet plan, and work out as much as they can to keep on losing weight to eventually receive skin removal surgery. Being a guest on the show means that the patients need to commit to 12 months of treatment and uproot their lives to move to Houston, Texas. There they meet with Dr. Now so that they can make sure they are sticking to their plans. Many of the patients have a lot of trouble moving to Texas since it's hard for them to travel by car. Some patients even need to travel by ambulance. Thedrick Barnes went on the show at 32 years old and his weight was unknown, but it was debilitating to his life. Thedrick lives at home with his mother who is his main caretaker, but also enabler. Thedrick was so heavy that he was barely able to even leave his bedroom and spent most of his time indoors unless he was leaving to go buy ice cream from the ice cream truck. Thedrick knew that it was time to make a change and stop his suffering. His episode was full of insane moments and here are three of the craziest moments from Thedrick's episode. Most of my days start pretty much the same now. I struggle to get up. I struggle to move. I even struggle to kiss my breath because I'm not your average size man. So it's hard to start my day at my size. And you gotta thank the Lord every morning that you waking up. And my size make getting up to do anything a struggle. Especially with the cars. I have lymphedemia and my Lord screaming at it makes it very hard to walk. And that can be very dangerous. You gotta watch what you step and you can't bump into no sharp objects. You can't brush against no doors. Cause if you do, your, your leg can start leaking. Thedrick was at his breaking point when he went onto the show. He could barely walk and had lots of trouble even doing everyday simple tasks like going to the bathroom and cooking a meal. Thedrick needed to travel from Florida to Texas to be treated by Dr. Now. When he was going to be starting his journey, his mother had to help him in their minivan with all the seats down in the trunk. He was not even able to use the bathroom during his trip because he was so heavy he was not able to get out of the vehicle. They had to drive 700 miles which also included a lot of pit stops at fast food restaurants. His mom wants to be there for him and help him get better but she keeps stopping at fast food places to get their meals during their trip. Dr. Now would for sure not be happy to know that he was making stops at unhealthy fast food places. Thedrick and his mom knew that these were not the best choice and they were hoping that arriving to Dr. Now's office would help them out but he definitely made unhealthy choices on the trip down. Too Me and my mom fixed it and take a trip to Houston since I decided to go. I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it with my mom. But I still have concerns because it's a big undertaking to get someone my size around. Good? I'm gonna put a car around. But I'm willing to make this attempt to get help because I know I need it. And there ain't no options here. But it's been a long time since I've been out of the house like this, so I'm nervous about it. Thedrick's mom was supportive of his weight loss journey and encouraged him to walk a little bit every day, even if it was just to the driveway and back to take out the trash. It was difficult for Thedrick to do that due to his weight and pain, but he was able to successfully make the small trip. After two months of doing this, he was getting better at his daily walks. However, he missed an appointment with Dr. Now and needed to have some tests run before returning. Thedrick ended up having his appointment with Dr. Now on a video call. During the call, Thedrick admitted to eating fruit, which some would think was a healthy option. However, Dr. Now was not having happy about this as fruit was not part of the scheduled diet. Dr. Now told Thedrick and his mother that they both need to make sure that Thedrick is motivated and ready to work hard on his weight loss and start giving up foods like fruit. Thedrick was upset about this but he was willing to do whatever it takes to get his weight down. Who would have thought that fruit was not a good part of the diet? Pretty crazy. You got to lose inches. No way you gonna get them inches off. Oh, I wanna you hear. gotta get up and move to get them inches off. Told you, let's walk a little bit. That's all we got to do, walk a little bit a day. That's all we got to do. That's all. I can 
see that I'm making progress. Cause that's the most I've done in years. But this is a lot for me to handle. I just hope it leads me to get into the weight loss surgery. And doing this is all worth it. That's where it is right now. That wasn't even two minutes. We're gonna walk to the road tomorrow. Towards the end of Thedrick's episode, him and his mother met with a nutritionist, Jennifer, who broke down everything that Thedrick was eating daily. He admitted that he loved eating potatoes, which are high in starch, which turns into sugar. Thedrick and Elisa both have no idea that this was bad for Thedrick. She basically admitted that eating pasta is no different from eating cookies. Thedrick also admitted that he loves drinking lemonade despite the sugar. Jennifer showed him that a large bottle of lemonade has the equivalent of almost a whole pound of sugar. Luckily, Jennifer was able to show Thedrick how to make lemonade with water, lemon juice, and some sweetener. Thedrick stated that the meeting with the nutritionist was both eye-opening and uncomfortable, but he is glad that he did. It. While this moment was crazy, it helped Thedrick learn more about his health and only made him work harder for the surgery. Thedrick continued to work hard and used these moments as motivation to lose more weight as he needed to get to 615 pounds in order to qualify for the weight loss surgery. Thedrick was really nervous that he would still not qualify for the surgery, being 3 pounds shy of his goal. However, Dr. Now was proud of Thedrick and approved him for the weight loss surgery. He had to make sure that he stayed on track leading up to his surgery and was careful not to accidentally gain anything back. Dr. Now also commended Thedrick's mom, who played a large role in Thedrick's weight loss. Despite these moments in the episode that were crazy, Thedrick was able to keep up the good work and move ahead for the weight loss surgery. It's really rare that Dr. Now's patients are able to easily lose weight and qualify for the surgery, but it's always happy when we get to see it. Well, both of you need to wake up to the reality of the situation. And the reality is you're not going to live a lot longer unless you lose a lot of weight right now. Did you get that? Yes. You say that, but so far I don't see a lot of action to show me that you're telling me the truth. And until I do, there's nothing we can do to really help you in long term. That choice is up to you. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, since you're at least making some progress, I'm going to give you another chance to lose 80 pounds over the next month. You think you can do that this time? Yes, sir.